to another episode of Let's Play Conquest of the Longbow, The Adventures of Robin Hood. I am your host, the RPG guy. And whew, we got out of the fens with our fucking hide intact there. But we still gotta save those boys. You're looking thoughtful? Will says he's just got word that Harold Holman Dickin will hang at sunset today. Holman and me grow up together. He's like one of me own brothers. Much I swear I'll do all I can to save them, but I, I do promise, will you please change your name for it's very confusing. Alright, so speaking of confusion, let us head to the Overlook, because we're going to need a daft disguise. Or some kind of disguise that will help us save those boys. Luckily, this this day is usually not, this is not nowhere near as hard or difficult as the fifth day. And look at this, what do we got here? Looks like a, a monk here. A different kind of monk. Top of the day to you, brother. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Did you want something? What brings you along Watling Street? I, um, I'm not really supposed to discuss with strangers. But no one would miss you for quite some time if you didn't return. Oh, mercy, don't hurt me. Why, well, I've done nothing but talk to you. There's no need to panic. Yet. Just put your hand on him. Oh, yeah. Bring me that ass. Don't hurt me. I'll bite you. Don't hurt me. Don't be fool. Don't be a fool. I scarcely touched you. You have the spine of an earthworm. Oh, I've nothing to please an outlaw. Neither gold nor silver. Have mercy. Come now. There's no need for such fear. There isn't. I may go my way. Nay, you have something I greatly desire. Your robe, but, 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 but I, I don't swing that way. Is that a problem? Oh, nay. Whatever you want, the robe is yours. If you just spare me. That's better. A visit to my camp will refresh you. You can earn the good value of a good, honest labor. Have mercy. Oh, yeah. Hit that ass. Get him. Get him. Can't even chop wood properly. What an ass hat. Have mercy, you oh, good flyer. How can you consort with these thieves and rogues? Take me to town and the abbot will reward you well. Keep tapping it, I reward you with the flat of my blade again. Chop that wood, bitch. Chop again. Whack him with it again, friar. Do it. Robin. Robin, why you make a fan figure of a monk in that robe? Bless you, my son. Take good care of our guests. I'm off to Watling Street. Gotta like that little scream he does. He's like, ah! Ah! And thus the friar and the pr the priest will have a very unique relationship. Many things, many things with this. I'll take him out to gather some more firewood to chat. He'll know the true meaning of an earth work when I'm done with him. <laughs> have mercy! Oh, my bottom! Oh, my arse! Will this eventually move on? Will it please move on? There we go. So we've da got a new disguise here. And we can go around the area and do various things in our disguise, but we're just going to go straight in and go to St. Mary's. Okay. Alrighty then. In we go. Another very dangerous place, so we need to be careful. Good day, brother. Remember to bar the door once you are inside. Of course, brother. Thank you, Lord, for this glorious rose to eat. It's the fastest, eats the most. Let's go inside, and as you can see here, I wonder what we're going to do with three robes. Good. They're mostly dry. Nothing worse to carry around than wet wool. All right, let's get out of here. Nothing else in there that really interests us. Um, let's go into the main priory here. Main part of the, the, the monastery. In front of me lies the chapel behind me, an unfinished nave. Not much to do. Let's just head right to the back. Strangely enough, if we go through one of these two doors, I believe we can get some extra points by just visiting this area and if, if we do it now. Okay, so we did it now. We got the points. Let's go back. It was Let's go back. It was only worth 10 points, but there are 10 points that are easily, strangely enough, easily missed. 
And it has to do with like, oh, it's a ex exploration, I think, set up a set of exploration points, I guess. All right, let's go ahead and go here is our next stop. No reason to go anywhere else in the monastery for the time being. I see the refectory and the abages within at the full end of the room. Hey, I bet! Could I be of service to your grace? Hey, that's your can, brother. This bloody puzzle box is driving me mad, and I'm down to my last mug of ale. Trot over to the pub and get me more of his most potent brew. Forgive my ignorance, but why don't you simply break open the box? Because it's too well made, that's why. Besides, it's supposed to contain a magic ring, a perfect ruby set in flames made of gold. And I'll not take any chances on damaging it. Not that that's any of your business. Be on your way! Shall I take the empty cast with me, Your Grace? Fair, who cares? For what that innkeeper charges me, he can't afford to lose a few casks. But make sure you bring back his best ale, none of that poisonous, scrumpy cider crap. Pardon me, but how shall I pay for it? I notice you have your purse. Enough adult patted questions. He'll build me as he always does. Now be off with you. So let's go grab the uh, cask. Because obviously we ain't refilling shit unless we grab that cask. Yoink. And then let's make our way to the, the, the pub. Go into the pub. Go into the pub. Getting off our ass and getting to the pub. And let's go ahead and walk to the map here. Because the pub is actually in a most awkward place, but what have you. Mm. Alright. Let's go to the pub. Well, I guess if you are a ruler, I would like to have the place where most booze is made right beneath me. And there's a mini game that we should partake in, because we actually have to. It's actually quite a difficult game in, in some respects. Nine Men's Morris. This is an actual real game, by the way. If you mean the way to a game of Morris, come sit down. Surely I can give money without gambling it, or are you too proud? I would all save your own proud. I'll win money fairly from me, monk, but I won't take it as charity. Okay, so let's sit down here. Yeah, I want to sit down, damn it. Oh, Harry's one of the best. We'll see about that. Well, sit yourself down if you're not all talk. If you care a wager, I'll wager something worth your while. This here is a chunk of amethyst. It's got magic in it, it does. So if you mind to win, it's bring out your money. So before we continue, we'll make another save here. As day six. Because chances are we can lose. Glad to meet a monk who knows how to open his purse. I'll be generous and let you go first. Alright, so Nine Men's Morrits is pretty much... Connect 3. don't know how else to describe it. It's really just a game of Connect 3. And what you're doing is you're trying to kind of cock block him. And... Which at times is easier said than done. What is he doing? Shit. Hell no, you're not going to get that. Ah, fuck. Sometimes you, like, push in this game, too. So it looks like we might push unless I fuck up really hard. Oh, fuck, he won! I think that's a win right there. Oh, that's right. We can move pieces. Um... What, I can't move that there? That's bullshit. Oh, there we go. Ah, fucking hell. Mm. He's gonna try to line him up there. Uh, 
I suck at this game. Well, shit. Did I just win? Oh, I get to take one of his pieces. That's right. Um, there we go. Shit. Fuck. He's gonna win. Alright, he's, he's won. So we'll reload. Uh, you know, mine men's Morris is kind of like Connect 3 with a, some kind of ability to take shit. Alright, so let's go ahead and... No luck here. This sometimes takes a few tries. Shit, he connected the three in the back. Motherfucker. Well, he did it again. I think I actually done goof the way I did it. Let me restore one more time. Like I said, it just takes a little bit of practice. Let me see here. Fuck. It's a pretty rough game, too, when you're trying to do all this shit. Okay, we don't have any pieces left. Fuck! I suck at Nine Men's Morris. I think I'm going to have to come to terms with that. <laughs> that was already a loss. He had already started kicking my ass. All right, let me try again here. Uh. Oh, oh god damn it. I screwed myself again somehow. I don't even know where I'm gonna how I'm gonna do this. Yeah, I screwed like I said again, guys, I screwed myself. And we need to block him from getting any uh, any connecting bits here. Still has one more piece. That was his last piece. So, okay, so now I actually have to try to construct this without letting him get three pieces in a row. Now I think I actually have the advantage of this time. Wait, how did he do that? God damn it. There we go. Um, there we go. I think I got him beat now. So as you can see, I can move. There we go. Ha ha. Fucking hell. Took a little bit of practice. What I did was, is I, I kind of lined up my pieces, um, to those two sides, moved the centerpiece back and forth, cleared out the center, and at that point, there was no way he could uh, beat me. Put this into your mug or goblet, and you can get drunk no matter how much ale or wine you drink. I don't need an amethyst to do that. Oh, they means in the game. But surely you could have found a use for this yourself. What do I want with a spell that keeps me sober? I'll be warned, you can only use it once, and then what? Dissolves is what a heathen sorcerer put a spell on it, and that's all I know. All right, so we're done. We got the amethyst. Let's save. So I don't have to play more Mo Nine Men's Morris ever again. And let us go ahead and 
refill the buru. I don't know who's bothered to do me this service. Uh, Nahi. If you're in a hurry, signal me from the cellar door and I'll let you in so you can go back the short way. All right, and then also let's ask him something here. And then we'll take our money and we'll pay off the tab. This guy's innocent. He doesn't deserve to be treated like this. I want to say it was... I want to say it's like 12 pennies. So, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Oh, wait a minute. I did this wrong. Hold on. Hold on. Let me reload here. I want to make sure we get the points. So, we won the game. Let's talk to him. Then we'll do the cask refilling. Would the hospitality need to come extend to a sample of your brew? If you're miserably avid, bother to pay his bill. What's more, he never sends back the casks. So I am of no temper to be generous. Go ask him for free ale. I take it you don't care for the abbot. I don't care for those who want ale and don't pay for it. Now let's try it here. No. I know there's a way to pay off his tab. I'm just trying to think of how. Um... Uh, I just can't think of what it is. You know, we'll come back here real quick. There's something else I want to do instead. Before I forget. A way to earn some points. And I'll show you how to do it. I almost forgot to do this, and so we would have missed out on points. I wonder if this gift would be soft in your heart, for I dearly desire to shrive the souls of those poor outlaws in your dungeon. Dad, you'll have to do better than this, brother. I've orders not to admit anyone. All right. How about two? Son of a bitch! What an asshole! There we go. So we needed to pay a farthing. Which is two half pennies, as much as what I gave him. Escort this monk to the dungeon and let him speak to the prisoners. But make it quick. So let's speak to the prisoners, get us some points here. This monk here is to give the outlaws their final blessing. You have to do it through the trap door. At least allow me to hear their sins alone. You can wait for me upstairs. Sorry, I can't leave you alone in here. Get on with it. Wow, what a bunch of douchebags. <clears throat> My sons, I've come to pray. If you wicked souls, lift up thine eyes and attend unto me. A pox on you, monk. But that's a hooded man. Aye, way, see you now, brother. And with glared eyes, what would you say to us? The salvation may yet be yours if you will follow my path. Wherever you lead us, brother, we will follow, if God wills. Aye, if God wills, for it is my duty to lead you from the darkness into the light. And I shall not fail in my duty, even should the devil himself block my path. That's enough. Shrive this souls and be fucking done with it. Have faith, my sons. Domini dire nos. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful roast. Who eats the fastest eats the most. All right, and so we're going to be escorted out of here. Zoom here, does it look like Robin gained a few pounds? Eh, whatever. Alright, so we gained some points with that. That's why I wanted to make sure I did it. Um. I'm trying to think. There's a bit of different things that we could do here.
I want to say... Okay, so obviously he's gone. So I I thought we had to pay his tab, but maybe maybe I'm wrong. Now oh, whatever, we'll just keep moving. Maybe I have to do it later in the game. I'm not gonna worry about it now. There's really no reason to. Well, much appreciated, brother. You're the only monk. We've already read through this, so. <laughs> All right, so now we need to go through the back. Baby, go back. And tell the abbot it's the last time. If he doesn't pay up on his bill, he'll get murdered. All right. And so there is a shortcut in here that we will take. The tap unlatched something inside the cask. It's a false front. Well, looky there. It leads to a tunnel inside the sandstone. The tunnel from the cask leads up into this larger tunnel, which looks forks in two directions. Well, let's go this way first. We make our way through and through. Do you have more ale? Aye, Your Grace. Well, don't stand there like a gold. Bring it over at once. Of course, Your Grace. You're slow, but at least you did the task. I have a mind to put this ale into the test. Have a seat and drink with me, brother. Yes, we will. Be seated and we'll see how your stomach fares against mine. Brother Bruce, is that you? Aye, master. Good. Take this infernal box to my room and leave my door unlocked. I'll be having a nap soon, because I'll be shit-faced. And now let's fill our mugs. Now what you need to know here is we need to take the amethyst This is an exceptionally fine tapestry, Your Grace, but is that a flaw I see in the center? What flaw? I don't see a flaw. Must be something wrong with your eyes. I believe you're right. Have another mug. And that's now if you don't put the amethyst in, you get drunk and then they find out your Robin Hood. Have another mug. So you get a couple chances to actually do this correctly. You get like two chances. Two or three chances. Have another mug! Because, <laughs> you know, Robin Hood apparently is a fucking lightweight. Go, 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 go. And this will eventually lead to someone passing out at some point. Most likely him. Another mug, Your Grace. Thank the Virgin for that amethyst. This is truly strong ale. I dare say the abbot will not wake for a good many hours. <laughs> we should be far from here indeed. As thus we emptied his glorious purse. Uh, anyway, let's keep moving then. And actually, let's take the cast with us as well. The cask, rather. All right, let's keep moving. And now we're gonna head to the abbot's room because there's a couple of things we want to try to get. The abbot has spared himself no luxury. Yeah, really. There's one other door off to the left of his bed curtain. I see no other way to escape except the way I entered. 
I wonder where the monk would have put the puzzle box he was working on. It's under the, th the pi it's under the pillows here. One of these pillows. So hopefully we'll find it here. And there it is. Make sure to put the pillow back. It gives us more time to do stuff and without problems. The chest is tempting. I know everything in here is tempting to look at. Get the fuck out of there, man. The fuck out of Dodge. We've committed the crime for us. Now we just need to leave. So out we go and back to the bar. Maybe now we can pay his tab. We'll see in a minute here. So to the pub we go. And let's give him the cask. Actually, let's do this instead. Pay the bill if gold wills it, it will be done. I guess as much. How much is the bill? Twelve pennies I'll likely never see. Twelve pennies? That's it? I got twelve pennies. Here's twelve pennies. So twelve pennies. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Whoops. Did not mean to do that. So he's only going to take a penny for what we gave him. Okay, well, we need to pay off that tab. When he comes back, of course. Twenty, five, uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve. Wait a minute, why is this not working? Okay, I don't want to get shit faced. Let me just give him this back, I think. Hold on, let me think. Um, no, you know what? Maybe he will only take the pennies in... That's the puzzle box. Maybe he's only going to take the 12 pennies. Hold on. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. No, he's still not doing it. It's not good because we're going to get in trouble here by drinking too much. You know, let's give him the casket. Ah, oh, shit. Ugh. And this is what happened. So somehow I got, I got drunk in the bar and we died. Oh, boy. And then we're way back here. So let me go back and cut to this part for you guys. You don't have to sit through this while I do this. Okay, let's try again, again here. Because obviously I... You know, let's try giving him the cask first. And then pay him. Because I think I, I did the order backwards, possibly. And with the return of this cask, the bill is same as before. 12 pennies. If you want to take a short way back to Abbey, I'll be happy to oblige you. Just signal me from the cellar. Okay, let's let's pay that tab. Let's see if he'll take it now. <clears throat> that doesn't make sense. Uh, there's something missing here. I think he took it actually from up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's try that. There we go. I was given the wrong currency, is what I was giving him the wrong currency. Because those were supposed to be farlings, I thought, not pennies and half pennies. You're the only worthwhile monk I've ever met from the Abbey. No offense, none taken. All right. Okay, so that's all said and done with then. Wow, that was that was annoying. <laughs> Not in a good way. Here, here you go, brother, and be careful no one sees you using the secret way. So we've got the secret way bullshit going down. So let's uh, go ahead and go through here. So now we've got some children, some uh, some people to save. They're not really children. They're the children of someone. 
So let's get to it. Interesting. So here's the people into the dungeon for the most part. Where you still that confounded Pison? And I skipped over that. Whoops. Snake us up a bucket of ale from the pool, but that'll keep you busy. I've got such a thirst I'd throttle me a mother for a milk right now. Give me some money then. And well, if you could pay for it this time, I knew it! You lost to that old Harry playing nine minutes fucking Morris, didn't you? Oh, come on, Roger, be a good lad. I haven't enough. We only need four pennies. I've got two farthings and that's it. We won't fill the bucket for less than four pennies. Sorry, that's all I got. Go on, by jeez, if I don't have any ale before the night is out, you'll never hear the end of it. Well, then improve your foul temper. I already owe Jack money. Wait! This is our chance to make our move. We'll save before we go, just to be on the safe side here. I don't hate to have to go through some of this again, because it's it's a dealings with money. It's dealing with money again. So here we go. Let's leave some money on the table. You, I believe it's um, one of these and three of these. I think. I think. Let's get out of here before they get back. Oh yeah, bro, I'm coming, I'm coming. To the door. And let's see what happens. Should be enough. If not, then there's something wrong here. Roger, did you leave this money here? Not me. If you mean to pretend you just found it. I did just find it. It's still not enough. Well, I suddenly remember that I have a couple of pennies in me boot after all. You lying, miserly hound. Stay here while I fetch the ale. I'll never taste a drop of it. <laughs> I'll never taste a drop. If you fetch it, we'll both go. You know what? Hold on one second. Let me uh, restore because I don't think I left enough. Okay, so the money thing is all kind of weird. So they need th one, two, three, and a farthing. I guess this is a farthing. And I got these backwards. Farthing, half pennies, full pennies. So that sh it should be that then. Like I said, I get the denominations mixed up because of fuck if I know. I just, I get them mixed up, guys. Sorry. Well, me, if you mean to pretend you just found it, I did just find it. Still not enough. Okay, so it doesn't matter how much we would have left. It wouldn't have been enough. Okay, so actually, I'll leave the lower amount there. Restore, since uh, it appears it's not enough no matter what I do. Alright, so... You know, I'm not really... You know, I probably could figure this out if I look at the score, but I really don't care at this point. It's the third time doing it, I just want to get it done. But I want to get it done cheaply. I wasn't sure what the configuration is. If you guys at home know what it is, let me know. Because that's one I don't quite remember. So, I'm not going to worry too much about it. Kept money in his boot. Oh, wait. What am I doing? We need to go say... <laughs> I was about to leave those guys there to die. Alright, let's go ahead and get them out of here. Lads, it's me, Robin. I told you, Harland. See, Hope, I knew he'd come. Shh, not so loudly. Lower the ladder, Robin. There's none here. They must have it stored elsewhere. And I dare not leave this room. Then we're still trapped in this pit. Have faith, I'll find a way. Go ahead and take the robes. The monk's robes would be a great help once I get the lads out of this pit. But the belts! Get ready, lads. I'm going to make use of the robes out of monk's belts. There you go. Ah, it's using your head. Mm, 
Let me get that rope right up and box your ears till they bleed. Alright, look at that. The Great Escape, Mission Impossible style. Alright, let's get out of this fucking dump. Before I lose my own mind. But we're not out of the woods yet, guys. We still we're not out yet. Don't go back to the to the uh, prior uh, to the uh, cathedral. That's just gonna the monastery. That's just gonna make things even worse. There's no one in the cellar, though. I hear some music. I'll go on through. But if you sense anyone, it'll be careful. Don't worry. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. This one is all, still easier than the last one, but yeah. What's all the noise, Hal? It's the sheriff with his men and some wenches. He's celebrating having three outlaws to hang. Do they look as though they've had plenty to drink? Hey, they're well into their cups. Good, that's twice the headache the sheriff will have when he finds you gone. But what shall we do? Shall we try to pass him as monks? Aye, we must dare it. The pub's outside the town walls and closer to the forest. If he's drunk enough, the sheriff should pay little heed to some monks. Listen well. You three will go first. Keep your heads down, and don't hurry too much. Don't stop to wait for me, no matter what happens. I'll lead. You lead the way. Let's make a save. Cause things do can go wrong. Damn! My kind of party. <laughs> All right. Well, I think we'll just be sneaking on out this way. Brother, bless me. <laughs> My son, you are drunk. Uh, uh, so, give me a blush. Uh, very well. May God give you all that you deserve, and may I live to see it. Amen. What oh, a great blessing. But I ever heard. Here's your penny. Why, thank you, my son. Keep going and keep your eyes down. If we can reach the forest and notice, we'll be freaking safe. And thus we save the three sons of the widow. I'm made a fine monk. You should have seen us. I thought we made us laugh or die when the sheriff bade Robin for a blessing. <laughs> Well, I didn't like being among no four men, and as soon as we reached the forest, I tore off that robe. You're all so brave. I can hardly believe you're here. It seems a miracle. May the blessed lady God oh, and keep you safe forever, Robin Hood. But words aren't enough. Take this gift. My body! Oh, God, lady, God! Oh! Anyway. This comes from the time when I was a guardian of this forest. Even as Mary and Nash now. Mother, you, you're a green priestess? Before you were born, I danced the spiral dance and nurtured the spirit of the forest. Step forward, Robin. This golden net is my gift. Use it well and it will lead you to wisdom. Use it wisely and the forest itself will protect you. Now please take my sons with you and let them serve you. I fear the outlaws from this day on. I'll do my I'll do as you bid. Thank you for your precious gift that you bestowed upon me. Come on, lads. And thus our outlaw band grows by three more. Hal Hob and Dickon bade their mother fell bade their mother farewell and set out to making a place for themselves in the camp. I joined my men for a joyous celebration. May you get all you deserve, and may I live to see it Robin, you are wicked wit. <laughs> this will make one of the finest tales I've ever told. If the sheriff but knew what it is, I think he deserves. I think he knows. He'll be cursing you round late tonight when the truth seeps into his drunken skull. Let him curse and rage. How Hob and Dickon are beyond his reach, and I am well content with this day's work. And I'm proud as well. A man can be called Robin Hood, my leader. Let us toast him. A hood, a hood, a Robin Hood. All my voices are starting to blend together. And that ends day six. Another rough day down, but the days are just going to get longer, harder, 
and hopefully closer to getting to see Naked's Bottom and see Naked's Marion's Naked Bottom. All right, thank you guys for stopping by. I am your host, the RPG Guy, and we will see you guys next time on Conquest of the Longbow, The Adventures of Robin Hood, The Let's Play. We'll see you guys there. Bye! Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Please take a moment to check out more episodes from the RPG Guy, Tuesday Night Team Up, and more. And please subscribe. Always support the channels you enjoy watching, and while you're at it, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. Keep on gaming hard. See you next time.